Research Partner is a private equity fund investing in Central Eastern Europe, understood as the Eastern Europe, Central Eastern European countries that have joined the European Union. We invest in uh, SMEs, mid-sized companies, with our equity tickets starting from 5 million euro um, with less defined upper barriers, but the sweet spot is generally around 10 to 15 million euro. We invest in consumer goods and services, so we decided to specialize industry-wise and, and that allows us to develop more insights into specific uh, sub-segments of the industry and be more a valid partner uh, to the entrepreneurs. Um, the deals, uh, in terms of the transaction structure, we're quite flexible but majority of our deals end up being majority transaction with minority stakes staying in the hands of the original founders. It's a way for them to, to, to plan their succession um, at, the, at the time when that decision needs to, to be made. In terms of, uh, of our current in, in investments, we're investing out of our fund two, so the fund one is already fully invested. In fund two we've so far concluded one investment which is a cosmetics co um, manufacturer in Poland, but within fund one we had um, investments both uh, in Poland, Romania and Latvia. Uh, so generally probably around 50% of investments go to Poland, 30 to Romania and the remaining 20% goes somewhere in the region. Uh, and I would really want us to, uh, to be more active on the Slovak market as well and have in the future a broader pipeline of investment coming from the market and potentially invest as well. It is certainly quite visible that in most of the meetings that I participate, I'm either the only woman out of the 20 people in the room or one out of the two, perhaps. So certainly the balance is not there. But I think generally the biggest problem is not the industry being open to accept women, it's the fact that the women don't plan it as, as their career path. And I think it's really about coaching, mentoring and education um, to be done at the early stages of the career so that actually more women consider it as a career suitable for, for, for women. So generally our fund, the way we're structured is we don't have that many support functions. So for us it's mainly the investment team and obviously we have uh, two female on the investment team. So we pretty much hit the 20% uh, threshold cited by Prequin. Now if I look at our other funds active on the Polish market, I think uh, it's quite a similar situation. I don't feel like women have less, ch less chances of, uh, of progressing uh, in the structures if they're motivated and if that's what they want to achieve. It may be still um, some point that made before is that they negatively select themselves out thinking that it's too much of their time commitment and not the place at which they would feel uh, confident or successful. I actually don't like this type of stereotyping because each, each individual is different and there's some more empathetic women and less empathetic women, there's some more empathetic men and less empa uh, empathetic m uh, men. So, I, uh, Whereas I definitely see the gender balance as a problem and I think a lot of that comes from women not actively trying to pursue this career. I am a bit careful with uh, stereotyping that women will be better for this job because they, uh, they, they, they build the trust easier. I think it's a more individual thing. So whereas I am all for coaching and mentoring the younger females so they, they would consider that as a career but I think after at the end of it it's for each individual to um, to assess which type of a career will make them fulfill and when what's really their strong points and the weakened points and whether they would engage in, the, in that particular career or not. I actually, I actually think that this is a, the generally the supply of candidates is a problem, and I don't personally know where it starts. But I remember us years ago trying to recruit another woman, which we ended up succeeding, and we have a, another female member of, of our team. But it was quite a lengthy process because the funnel of the candidates was much weaker than it was uh, when we ran previous uh, recruitment uh, processes for, um, for, for 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 other positions. So it's, it's generally there is a problem in the industry, and uh, and where. Whereas pure looking at percentages is probably not, you know, not the right way to go, but it pretty much indicates that there is an issue because there is about 50% of us in the general population and there is really no reason why the percentage in the private equity industry should be closer to the 50% than to 20%.